Hi guys, I wanted to take in today and make a quick video about um, uh, some moccasins that I'm wearing and uh, and uh, review those real quick and then also why do I wear moccasins at all? Why, how did I come to that? Because I've been a long term uh, believer and supporter in hiking boots, you know, uh, good solid traction and tough sole and ankle support and all that kind of stuff and so why did I switch? So um, first of all, the moccasins I got are these guys here from this company. It's uh, Footwear by Footskins. This is their catalog. You see that? And they make uh, moccasins and kind of boots and slippers and things that are kind of more dress shoes for business. Um, so there, there's a variety of uh, things in there. It's made in the USA. Um, it seems to be really nice stuff. So um, I've had these for about a year. And these are moccasins. They're, there's no hard bottom. You know, they're bendy. And uh, I've had these for about a year and been using them in, um, here in far northern California in the, uh, you know, Sierra Nevada and Cascade Mountains, foothills, um, the chaparral kind of forest we have around here. It's really, you know, it's rocky and rough, a lot of tough plants, thorns, that kind of stuff. Um, snakes, all kinds of good stuff, so um, I wanted to just kind of show you, I probably should have cleaned them first, but so you get a close-up here, this is after a year of use out in the woods and you can see that they're really holding up well, they're in good shape now what I did do is two things from the factory, the bottom comes with, <clears throat> this is the uh, cow skin version. They do have a deer skin one for a little bit more. Um, I got the cow skin, I just wanted the durability and quite frankly, leather breaks in, you know, pretty quick to uh, be pretty soft. So um, anyway, the bottom is kind of uh, the inside of the uh, skin, so it's the um, flesh side and uh, and what I wanted to do is rather than have the leather itself wear out and having to you know resole it a bunch I did um, there's some guys that came up with this idea of using barge cement which is kind of like a heavy-duty rubber cement and uh, mixing entire rubber tire shavings um, dust basically with it and then painting your moccasins the bottoms with those uh, so th that coating then when it's once it's painted on there that takes the wear and tear and then um, also it's waterproofing which is great out in the woods for round town I wouldn't worry quite so much but um, and then also I used uh, camp dry on the um, or no I'm sorry snow seal on the leather itself which I have mixed thoughts on um, it waterproofs it, snow seal, and waterproofs it nicely. Um, but it, over time, it, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, oil the leather as well with needs foot or whatever you like. So, um, you know, but so far the leather's maintained. You know, its moisture really nice. It's very supple. It's really still like new. So, and that's after a year. And it's these things have been in water and everything else. Now I wouldn't, you know. Quite frankly, when it's raining out and, and, and winter time, I go back to the hiking boots, but... Um, Alright, so foot skins, footwear by foot skins. Um, my take so far is that they're, you know, for the price you pay, they're, they're not super cheap. I think these, you're going to pay between $150 and $200 in that range, for um, depending on model you want and, that, and so on. Um, but the stitching is... is great the uh, fit and finish is really nice when, you know when you get them before they're all beat up like mine but um even beat up they still they still look good if I cleaned them before I showed you it would look even nicer um, they break in nice they're very comfortable um, the soles <clears throat> one thing I didn't mention there's um two or three different layers to the soles of leather and then some kind of little soft material so when you're um, sandwiched in there, so when you're walking around, yeah, it's not um, just one lay layer of leather between your feet and the, and the rocks, hard ground. So they're actually quite comfortable. Um, 
and they look nice. You know, you can wear them around town, and uh, people aren't really going to know their moccasins unless they look closely. Um, to see the uppers and everything, you could, you know, if they weren't all dirty like mine, you could put on a pair of business slacks with these or whatever and walk around town, and they'd look good. So, and they're great out in the woods, so. Whatever your purpose, I'd recommend them because I've beaten the heck out of these things. Um, you just got to repaint the soles every once in a while with this stuff. Um, especially walking around town on pavement and sidewalks, it'll wear through this coating. So um, I'll try to link below if I could find who. I know somebody actually makes this mixture and will sell it to you. Um, but at least they did. If I can find that link, I'll put it in the description, video description. Um, uh, no promises though. Um, and I'll link Footskins, Footwear by Footskins website too, in case you're interested. It's not so much an endorsement of these guys, though I would recommend it. It's just um, uh, more of a thoughts on wearing moccasins in general. So, it was a while back, I was kind of doing more running and everything, and it really hurt my knees. And, uh, and for the longest time, my knees were in pain and, I, and hurting, and I couldn't hike very far, and you know, which is really rough for an outdoors person, right? So, um, I tried. You know, I have semi-flat feet, and I tried arches and inserts and all kinds of things, and uh, what the doctors said and podiatrists recommended, and um, nothing was helping at all. And then, uh, you know, that barefoot running craze came out with the. Um, Vibram or Vibram shoes with the five fingers, you know, and um, so I thought, well, what the heck, you know, let's, and got myself these kind of shoes, which are the Merrill um, Vibram version, that they don't have the toes, you know, the separate toes, but otherwise they're the same thing. They have the wide toe box, which I have wide feet, so that really helps. There's no arch. There's, um, you know the slant in modern shoes where the heels thicker and the fronts thinner like on these obviously you can see thick heel thin in the front so we're our feet are always like this nowadays with modern shoes um, these kind of shoes get rid of that and so I switched to these and it didn't take long for my knee pain to go away and um, and it just hiking and everything was just went a whole heck of a lot better and so um then I decided moccasins were the thing for, to try those and that would be the thing for me because um, then you move to this and it's got the same flat bottom so my foot is on the ground like this instead of slanted right big difference and uh, and so and I guess the experts say this is what I've just read and heard of, <coughs> excuse me but having your feet flat or t uh, tilt it up, you know, with modern day footwear, it shortens your ligaments and muscles in the back of your legs and stuff for your rear end, and, uh, which makes sense to me. You know, I'm not a doctor, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it seems to me that uh, our feet were designed to be flat, so here comes the helicopter. So um, I'll try to talk loud. Anyway, so. That really helped my knees, and then the other thing that I like about them is that they're just so much lighter, and I can feel the ground, because when I go out in the woods, I like to um, uh, I do some tracking when I can, you know, um, I like to kind of be as quiet as I can in the woods so that I can experience the woods as they are, and not be scaring away critters and blasting through there, you know, and, and, uh, just want to be a part of it so I think with moccasins you can do that more effectively um, quite frankly now when I put these things on which are the Merrells they're not that heavy they're not super heavy duty you know they're not uh, combat boots or you know work steel toe work boots I feel like I have two by fours strapped to my feet now when I wear those and I don't really enjoy it so I wear these in the woods and I wear these around town and that's about it quite frankly that's all I wear um, except in like I said in the winter or up in the mountains, you know, with a lot of snow and water. Um, then I got to compromise, um, which the flat bottoms and these kind of things are not good for slippery mud or water. 
um, takes a while to get used to, so keep that in mind. Um, anyway, yeah, it's my gait's been a lot better. I can walk quietly in the woods using the, you know, the land on your side and slowly rotate in, or you know, even landing on your toe. Some people like to land on the side here and rotate your foot down, and then this way, so that you can feel branches and you know move them out of the way before you're going to snap them and scare away the deer or whatever you're tracking. Um, the other day where in these I tracked some deer up to, it took me about two hours, I followed a trail and then sat, you know, 20, 30 yards away watching them and it's it's great fun. So I think moccasins are very, are great if you uh, want to move quietly, you want light weight on your feet. Um, uh, I have very sensitive bottom of my feet, I don't like barefoot outside and stuff and I, I found even walking in my rocky terrain, rocky part of the country that, um, that, uh, the rocks on the ground almost feel like a foot massage, you know, it's, and I don't even like people touching my feet, and it's, it's comfortable, it's okay, so um, you get used to that, and, uh, you know, for the first week or so, your muscle, you're going to be using new muscles, so it's a little uncomfortable, but you get used to it, um, but I think it's pretty much a win-win, you know, the downsides are there, you know, this does have some ankle support, you draw this in tight, and it's got more than this, for sure, um, it doesn't have the same as this, and I thought that would be an issue because I was, you know, you hear about that ankle support. It's a big deal, right? But um, even on all the hills and, you know, there's, there's no flat ground out here. And uh, I haven't had an issue. So it's, it's, um, it's been all right. And um, anyway, that's about it. it it's, I think if you want to try moccasins, go for it. It's been a great experience. They're, um, you know, it allows me to feel kind of more in touch with my environment. And uh, that's why I wear them, and it helps my knees too. So, anyway, that's it. That was uh, footwear by Footskins. You can get, check them out, or you know, get on the forums and see what other people are using. So, but uh, overall, thumbs up on the moccasin idea. So, all right, guys, I'll see you later.